if you keep getting images like this and like this on your C-Star S50, and even wondering how to get images like this, you've come to the right tutorial. I'm going to show you two very simple ways to improve your images directly on your smartphone. To edit the image directly in the camera app or in the photos app, simply tap edit. From here, you can try a few presets if you like. I'm not really happy with any of those, so I'm going to do it manually. The first thing I'm going to do is go into adjust in the camera app on my Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Go into highlights because the bright core of the nebula is just a little bit overexposed. By reducing the highlights, I can bring that down so we can see more of the structure inside the, the core. The next thing I want to do is bring out the faint reflection nebulas in this area and this area. I can do that, I can do that by going into shadows and enhancing shadows. The next thing I want to do is adjust the black point and bring it down to enhance the contrast in the image. I'm going to try it about there. Next, I'll look at adjusting saturation. I, I don't want to overdo it, but I think, I think right around there is a nice improvement. Now, I've noticed that the image has a bit of a blue cast to it. So I'm going to adjust the warmth and bring it up just a bit. Now I'll increase the pop which is a nice detail enhancement and sharpen as well. And you can see uh, these dust lanes are looking really good. Next, I'm going to denoise the image. Uh, all that sharpening has introduced quite a bit of noise into the image. So I'll run denoise. Uh, how much you denoise is a bit of a personal preference. Personally, I don't like it denoised quite as much. Bring it down just a bit. Uh, right about there. Finally, I want to get rid of the field rotation artifacts here, here, here and here in the corners. To do that, I'll simply rotate and crop the image in the crop tool. So I'll just rotate it uh, about there. A little bit more. It's looking pretty good. And then crop the image a bit more like that. And that's really all there is to it. Now I'll walk through the same process, but in Snapseed. You can open the image directly in Snapseed, or I can open the Snapseed from the Photos app. I go to More, and just tap Snapseed. Now in Snapseed, we're going to do basically the same thing, but the steps are a little bit different. First, I'm going to use the Curves tool. And this is where we'll reduce the core a bit, the highlights, and increase the shadows. If I just drag the curve line like this, it's going to brighten the entire image. But I want to bring the highlights down. The highlights are in the upper right of the image, and the shadows are in the lower left of the curve. So I'm just going to bring down the upper right part of the curve like that to protect the highlights. And expand the lower left a bit more like that. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go into white balance and get rid of this uh, blue tint. 
raising the temperature just like I did in the camera app. Just about like that. Now I'm going to go into Tune Image. We'll increase saturation. About there. I think that might bring the highlights down just a little bit. Now I will increase the warmth a bit. And I will also sharpen the image and improve the structure. About like that. And again, I will rotate and crop. About like that. And then crop. Like that. One thing that Snapseed does not have that the camera app does is denoise. But you can, if you want, you can now save this. And now you can denoise the image in the camera app. Right about there. And I think I'll also lower the black point to about there. There you go. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.